Welcome everyone back to another episode of Talk 122 with your superintendent, Dr. Terrell Yarbrough. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, uh, for me personally, I just love music, uh, whether whether it's the band playing, you know, on a Friday night, or whether it's a musical, or I'm at a you know little DJ set and I get to, just to hear um, you know my my favorite songs. I just love music because music just has a way of of you know just just kind of easing people or, or putting them in a in a in a happy you know state, right? I just, sure. just love music, and so with that being said. Um, can you tell the audience a little bit about who you are, introduce yourself, obviously um, what you do here at Harlem, and then we'll pick it up from there. But thanks sure. for being on. So uh, my name is Tim Perry, and I am, my official job title is the band director at Harlem, and that's a lot of what I do. So I conduct the marching band. Um, some of you may have seen me at some of the football games this fall, which we were really excited to get back to this year. Mm -hmm. I also conduct the concert band and wind ensemble. I uh, conduct the jazz band later in the year. We start that around November. And I teach a couple other classes as well. I have a beginning band class that we started a couple years ago that's been super fun and successful. And then I also teach a music appreciation class, a digital music production class, and uh, AP music theory. Okay. Do a lot, right? <laughs> Do a lot around music, and that's and, and that's awesome. And so, with that being said, when you are looking for individuals to either um, sign up for your class, one of the classes that you teach, and or join the band, right? What are some things that you that you do to kind of um, hype kids up, you know, for that? Sure. So a lot of students that I have joined the band in high school have actually played for quite a while. Um, we start students in sixth grade in the Harlem School District. And what I really like about what we've done in the last couple of years is it is now possible for students to start band at any time in their educational career after sixth grade. So we have a beginning band class at the middle school and then also in the high school. So a lot of kids, by the time I get them, have played for several years. Um, a lot of kids haven't, and it's really just anyone who, once they get to the high school level, is willing to try something new and kind of take that plunge into joining a music class or beginning to play an instrument, and just anyone who has an interest in being part of something that's bigger than themselves and uh, joining a group like that and jumping into creating music with our band program, however they might do that, would be someone I'm looking for. So. Okay, awesome. And so you said um, started as young as sixth grade or? or sixth grade, yeah, sixth grade? in and the so, Harlem District. So for, for a student who is looking at this podcast and they, and they really want to, you know, be a part of it specifically, you know, at that young of an age, would you recommend um, – like like mastering one instrument or trying a few, what recommendations would you give? So usually when a student starts band in sixth grade, when they're in fifth grade in the spring, we usually have our recruitment events for sixth grade band. And uh, Mrs. Lincoln, who's our new sixth grade band director this year, would kind of be heading that up. So uh, okay. if there's any younger students that are, watching this or listening to this, um, please join band. We would love to have you. And you could get in touch with uh, Mrs. Lincoln about that. I also obviously have my kind of fingers in that as well, so I could get you pointed in the right direction. Usually we have kids just demo a couple of instruments, mm -hmm. and a lot of them will start in the summer and take lessons on some things. Usually... In the elementary schools, we kind of show them some things and allow them to try some things a little bit in that setting, and they kind of decide on one that they want to start with. And, you know, in rare cases, that might not work out for them right away, and then they could maybe try something else. But for the most part, I would say the vast majority of kids stick with one instrument. Okay. And we encourage that at the beginning just because then they're really – honing in on mastering their craft on that instrument. And a lot of instruments, like it's not a quick process, right? It 
takes years to uh, really build some of these skills. So, gotcha. you know, if you're starting on flute, there's a lot of intricacies with that that it takes time to learn. So okay. we would encourage most kids to, you know, kind of think about some things they might want to try, experiment with some things. Mm -hmm. But then once they find that instrument to really spend their time on really becoming an expert at that thing because that really opens up a lot of possibilities once they have some of those advanced skills. Gotcha. So what you're saying is it's too late for someone like me, huh? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I, you know, right. any right. any age, um, <laughs> you know, if you're if you're willing to learn, okay. you know, you're going to start at the beginning and probably have to put some time in, but you can get there. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking guitar or piano is that that too ambitious at this at this age i don't think so okay. i mean like you can even uh there's for some of that stuff and someone who's just starting out um you know there's some good things you can find on even like youtube and okay. you know learn the basics and then if you wanted to take some lessons with someone who can kind of get you to the next level that would be okay all right so so here's some i'm gonna hit you with some stuff that sure that maybe um you know um you know, kids in your band and in your classes will want to hear, right? And so when I when I think of you, because I've worked with you at the, at the high school, mm -hmm. and, and I know that, you know, there's a different, you know, you have marching band, you have the jazz band, those cool things you do. So when you think about, like, marching band and jazz band, right, which one's your favorite? Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, think, they're watching. I they're think, watching. yeah, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna make somebody mad here with this one. Because <laughs> um, you do a great job with both, yeah, and, they, and, they, and the I kids think, are awesome, right? I think I like... I think I like marching band in the fall because it's, okay. you know, just a fun way to start the year with everybody together. And then, uh, okay. you know, once we get in the winter, um, you know, it's 20 degrees out. I don't feel like being on the field for marching band, and okay. they probably don't either. So that type that time of year, it's maybe time to get the smaller group in the jazz band and really, like, uh -huh. focus on some of those more advanced things. Okay. Man, that was a great answer. I, I don't think they're going to be mad at that. that, was, that was, <laughs> See, I'm, the, the way that you just I'm good at that. being political if I need to, right? <laughs> so, that, so that was good. And so, so gearing up for obviously um, Saturday, yeah, we got a mm -hmm. big playoff yeah. game, right? As you prepare for that, you know, as a as a band, right? As a band director, and then getting um, the kids ready. Um, briefly describe that process of getting ready for a big game like that. Sure. So um, we have been working on our marching show since I think the first week of August before okay. school started. And uh, we have put a lot of work into memorizing things. And, uh, you know, this was an interesting year for us because we didn't have marching band last year because of COVID. So right. the majority of our group actually had never marched. Okay. Before, like, August 2nd, I think, is when we started that. Okay. And uh, I have to say, for any marching band folks watching this, they've had a great year. And, like, I'm not just saying that. Right. This has been probably the best year out of my seven years with marching band as far as the level of performance and what we've been able to do. Your best so, year out of seven. Okay, wow. So yeah. the previous question, no one's going to be mad, but that one maybe, but <laughs> well, anyway. Not that, the, not, that the, not that the previous ones were bad, but there I think you, every right. year we've kind of raised the bar, and we've okay. raised it a lot this okay. year. Okay, I got you. Um, yeah. So, you know, this week it's really, I mean, they've had a great season so far, and we've even started doing some concert band wind ensemble things at this point. Okay. And we had our rehearsal this morning with all of them for marching band, and we went out there and we said, all right, we're going to run through pregame and uh, did that once, fixed a couple of things. Second time was really good. Mm -hmm. um, we ran through some uh, pep band tunes and, again, adjusted a couple things, but they've really put the work in and those were probably 95% there. Okay. And uh, we ran through our halftime tunes and uh, we were like, all right, okay. we're we're in good shape here. So, gotcha. you know, it, once once they've put that work in, and they, they really have had a lot of long rehearsals and done a lot of really hard work over uh, band camp in August before school even started. And it, at this point, that, that work has been put in, and it's almost, you know, at this point we get to kind of enjoy some of the fruits of that labor, right? Okay. Like I've told them this year, it's hard work, and it's difficult, and it's not always – fun like the process of becoming really good at what you do right. but 
the most fun you'll ever have is being really good at what you do. Okay. So that's, yeah. and I feel like that's kind of where we're at at this point in the season. So it's really, you know, more fun and just making sure, you know, all the specific things are done, but okay. it's really more just, you know, enjoying where we're at gotcha. than anything else right now. Gotcha. Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Perry, and it's nothing like um, hearing the band play, you know, in, in the fall football game and, and it's just, just really enjoy it, enjoyable. A couple last questions for you here. Um, you also do graduation, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Favorite song that you play at graduation? Well, it's got to be Pomp and Circumstance, right? All right. Okay. <laughs> I would have been more happy, yeah, but I yeah. like that song. You know, that <laughs> one was good, too. We, we threw that one in last yeah, year. Yeah, so. yeah. Love it. Love and, uh, it. You know, if you get there a little yeah. early, you'll get to, uh, yeah. you know, hear all the work the band kids are putting in, too. Um, that's awesome. And then to leave you and leave the audience with, um, you've had some great teachers along the way, too, right? I mean, you know, to like Definitely. you said, to be... To, to get to where you are and to be as, as good as what you do. Um, one, I wanted to say to those that didn't know, you was on Good Morning America last year, <laughs> yeah. right? Yep. That, that was a, that's an awesome accomplishment. And, you know, as a, as a community, we loved to hear about, about that. But when you think of your mentors, you know, along the way, who's your favorite? Who's, who, who put oh, in man. the most yeah. work in getting Mr. Perry in here? I think, I've, I think it really, like, I mean, I could, I could throw out probably 12 names right now, okay. but if I could mention two, um, my high school band director, Kevin Jensen, okay. who was also my predecessor in this position mm -hmm. that I'm in right now, um, he retired at a really good time for okay. me. That okay. worked out well. Um, and uh, my second one was uh, Professor Rex Martin at Northwestern University, was my uh, private instructor for four years and taught me so much about music and uh right you know, just really, I feel like, raise the bar for what I was capable of, so. Awesome. Well, thank you, Rex and Kevin, for, for helping Mr. Perry and get here. And um, again, thank you for being on. And now it's time for the, oh boy. the infamous right. shot. Let's see what you I, got I here. Was, I did not make any of these when I was trying before, but. Ah, oh, you got it. There we go. <laughs> see, All I right. You, when you turn the camera, <laughs> I'm going to get it. I love it. Again, again thank you for, for joining us. All right. Well, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you on um, this episode. Um, you know, obviously, um, the first guest on the episode, we, we, we talked about band, right? Um, and, and I talked about just how much I love music, right? And, and a part of that piece, too, is, is musicals, right? And, and being able to see, um, you know, just how, from a high school kid's perspective, you know, sometimes seeing our kids in the hallway and they don't really talk and and you know and, and interact but then you see them on stage and they just become a whole new person right and and i've enjoyed you know some musicals over the years and just seeing that and i'm um, seeing again seeing the kids and be like man wow i didn't i didn't know you know that that could sing like that right and so in saying that and, and setting the stage for for you and, and what you do if you can tell the audience um you know your name and, and then your role here sure um my name is jeremy toledo um, and, and my role is the choir director okay. at Harlem High School. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so that also includes, um, we have several, several different choirs. We have mm -hmm. the, uh, our prep choir, right, which is kind of our introduction choir to mm -hmm. students that either are, are new to Harlem High School or okay. just want to try the, the choir experience themselves. Okay. Uh, we have a treble choir, which is a, a higher voiced choir. Um, and then our choral ears um, okay. as well. Uh, then we just were excited. We just we were able to get the voices of Harlem up and running again. Awesome. Yes, so yes. we've had a couple of rehearsals now, and the kids are really excited excited to get that going again. Okay. That, no, that's awesome. And so you are new to Harlem, correct? Yes. So mm -hmm. is this your first year? Yes. Now, yeah. where were you previously? I was at Marion Central Catholic in Woodstock. In Woodstock. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So hitting you with a hard question mm -hmm. first, like, you like better Harlem or <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I was diplomatic diplomatic yeah, okay yeah. Um, no uh, well I mean, I've really actually um, I have a high, I have a history with Harlem okay you know um, so I was excited to come Tell here us more. Yeah, yes yeah. Um, so my wife graduated from Harlem okay. in the year 2000 
Um, and we are so I was super excited the first like, the first day I realized that those pictures are all on the in the hallway by the, the auditorium. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I had to make sure I, I snapshot a picture of her. You know, so she's on the school. wall. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because it has all the uh, the alumni. Yes. Right. Yep. yep. So so that was exciting. So it's. So it's neat to kind of uh, to have those ties, and, 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 and you know, and I remember the school, you know, um, from that time too. So, okay. um, yeah. So it has it's each school has their own, mm-hmm. you know, their own kind of special um, situations and whatnot. Right. right. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really loving the experience so far. Like everybody's super nice and welcoming, and okay. Mr. Perian's been awesome to, to work with. And I mean, I. I go to him a couple of times a day, you know, about how do I do this? Where do I do this? And awesome. so, yeah. yeah, and everybody's been really great. The kids have been great. Okay. Really welcoming to the, to the program and to the ideas. And, gotcha. and, you know, I think they're excited to get things going again. So, okay. And, yeah. and, and that's, and that's good. And I was really excited to, to hear you, you talk about the voices of Harlem coming back and things like that. Cause that, that's definitely been a, 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 a group that has gotten out into the community and did some mm-hmm. things. And I know, you know, we still have to you be careful with mm-hmm. some of the things that we do, but just knowing that we're starting to get to back to some type of normal, yes. you know, schedule with some <laughs> of the things that we do is, is making me excited about it. And so, you know, I asked Mr. Perry and um, this question about, you know, just tips and things like that for people that are, or kids that are interested in joining, you know, the band, right? Mm-hmm. Um, or picking up a musical instrument and learning that, you know, same thing here with, you know, wanting to be in a choir and, and musical and things like that. What advice would you give kids who, who really just want to be on that stage? Sure. Um, I, think, I think the first thing is, is that um, you can sing. You know, I think we have such a, especially with all the, you know, the uh, TV shows about singing and all this stuff, people have an expectation of what a singer is. Okay. Um, and that expectation is, um, I, I, I believe, is inaccurate. You know, I, I, to be anybody that um, sings with love in their heart is somebody okay. who can be on a stage. You know, so mm-hmm. somebody coming in and, you know, and, I, and coming in and being able to <clears throat> genuinely try it. Okay. You know, so and not to be afraid to try it. I think that's where a lot of you know kids get nervous. They uh, singing it's right. scary because it's, it's exposing. Yeah. You know, so but you know, getting involved, getting in that experience, especially with a, a group of kids your age, that you know, one of the first questions I always ask kids uh, with a new group is, um, how many of you are nervous singing in front of people? And you can even have the, the choral ears, you know, our, our kind of our higher group, our older group there, and 90% raise their hands. They're nervous it's still to sing in front of people. Okay. You know, so, but they all experience that together. Gotcha. So I think the, the more, number one thing is, is is to not be afraid to try. Okay. So if I said, I hope tomorrow will bring a better you, a better me, would you put me on stage? Of course I would. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and. Truth be told, um, I sung that actually at our prom my senior year. Um, had a person that was a better singer than me, so she was kind of be able to mask my <laughs> my singing deficiencies. But that's cool. And the reason why I did that was was just for what you said, right? And I believe the same thing that um, in all of our kids, if you want to be on stage and, and and do what you love, you can do that. Mm-hmm. You know, re, regardless, right? And you got to push through that fear because that's what I'm hearing. Because that yeah. just that you know, hesitant and. And things like that. And so when you when you're seeing our kids like in the hallways, right? And mm-hmm. and things like that and, and you're looking like what are you looking for, right? Like how hard how, how do you recruit things so they know if they want to get in contact with you because they, they, they want to try out, how can they do that? Sure. Um, so the big thing is is I always you know try to um, I want I want the kids to experience it and to see it for themselves. Okay. You know, so you know getting uh, we had an opportunity to perform um, at the homecoming um, pep rally, okay. you know, so I, I think that's the number one inspiring thing is, you know, a kid watching it going, oh, I, I, I want to do that. How do I do that? Yes. You know, and so, and that's what's exciting about everything coming back in a sense, you know, as we get those experiences to perform in front of people again, you know, or, or even if you hear, I had a kid, we were talking, um, just, just talking music. And that's, that's I think that's kind of a, uh, a big benefit to, this, to the teaching the music subject is you could, you could start with, you know, oh, well, why are you listening to that? And all of a sudden you're in an hour conversation about music. Gotcha. You know, wow. so then yeah. you can get them involved in, in talking about what they enjoy. Then they're like, hey, you know what? If you enjoy that, you should come and try this class or something, try this, this you know, this choir and we, you started. Okay. So um, a very good good friend of mine who 
semi-retired, you know, from Harlem, um, Bill Dredge, used to perform as a faculty member in some of the musicals, right? <laughs> Would you ever consider that, you know, as far as having faculty members perform well, in some? Of course. Okay. Yeah. So that's a shout out to some of the faculty members. If you ever yes. want to do that, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. reach out, reach out to uh, Mr. Toledo and, and you can <laughs> be involved in that because that's, that's, that's an awesome, I think, experience too, just to, to show the kids a different side of you know, of, of a staff member, right? Like, mm -hmm. and, and being able to just, just do something like that and be committed and, and I love it. And so, um, obviously with, with Mr. Perrion, you know, marching band, football game, things like that coming up. So as far as with you and musicals, anything on schedule that kids can get excited about? And, and sure. Yeah. Um, so, um, currently we, our choirs are, uh, we have two choirs, the choral ears and treble, um, choir will be singing at the Ice Hogs game okay. on November 19th. Okay. Uh, we're doing the national anthem there. Wow. Um, and then uh, we're getting, we just about have all the details finished. We're going to do um, uh, a tour. Okay. Um, so we're going to be visiting uh, four elementary schools and a couple of nursing homes. Okay. Um, so again, trying to get them back out in the community. Okay. Um, and then, yep, the big, the big, the big question um, that I was asked the day I started uh, from students was, what is the musical? What is the musical? Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be doing the 25th annual Putnam Spelling Bee this year, mm -hmm. uh, which is a really, it's a wacky, hilarious musical. Okay. Um, so we're excited about that, and that'll be in March. Okay. Um, so we'll start auditions uh, at the end of November, and right. we'll get started on that process, which is an awesome experience. Well, I, well, I can't, I can't wait. That's, that's awesome. I'm, I got to look that up now. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I had a couple of kids too. There, you know, because you know, sometimes you announce them, you get the woos or the, okay. you know. But this one, you got to kind of quite a few puzzled faces. But then they went home and they're gotcha. like, literally, I watched that musical last night that was hilarious so gotcha. yeah okay and i and i meant to ask mr perry in this because i i think the the band had a motto one band one sound i think they had that um is that correct one band one sound one band one sound i got the thumb thumb up that's awesome as far as with with choir you guys got a got a motto uh, you know something that like uh, this is who oh. this is who we are you know, honestly, not yet. Okay. No, that's something that hopefully we'll, we'll, as we're kind of rebuilding everything, that we'll, we'll develop a good, gotcha. a good model or a good, you know, um, just something that we can, we can hold on to to keep us, you know, unified. Okay. Nice. Well, I, for one, am, am happy, you know, that, that you were able to join us. Um, I'm sure um, you're making a great impact, you know, with our kids, and, and I can't wait to hear, to hear more about, about what you do. Um, so, Thank you for being on. And now it's time for you and the oh. infamous, infamous shot here. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see. Now, you've been practicing, everybody. It's true. It's true. <laughs> oh, oh, that was, that was close. Air ball. Let's, let's, okay. let's try that one, one more time. time. Let's okay. try that one more time. All right. That was, All right. That was, that was close. We can, we can uh, edit this, right? That's what I told right? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was close. No, that, that's good. That, that's <laughs> hard. That's, that's a hard shot. It is shot. tough. Yeah. And so, again, thank you for, for being on. And, and to the audience, um, again, I, I, you know, I just can't tell you how grateful I am for everyone who has tuned into these episodes and continue to, uh, to tune into them. Um, we're grateful. It's a way for us to um, let everyone know just some of the awesome things that we're doing in Harlem. Once again, introduce um, you know new faculty um, to you as well as faculty, faculty who has been here um, as well. And so um, for me to you again, I am Harlem. You are Harlem. We are Harlem. Until next time. <laughs>